In the video of resource managing classes, we have talked about how to manage resources in C++03. Today we'll continue the discussion on that topic with C++11. Let's go back to the old example that we have used before. We know that this code will crash because when we call persons.front.println, it will end up accessing an object that is deleted. If you forget how that happened, please go back and watch that video again. And we have talked about the two solutions that you can use to solve this problem. One is define a copy constructor and a copy assignment operator, which will handle the copying of the pointers appropriately. And second one is to delete copy constructor and copy assignment operator. Now we have C++11. How would we handle this situation differently? You can still use the same two solution that you used for C++03. But C++11 has provided more weapon to handle this situation. First of all, when you want to delete a function such as copy constructor and copy assignment operator, you can use the keyword delete for that purpose. So here we can do person person well usually it's a const person and this function equal to delete and what will happen is the copy constructor is deleted. So if we compile this code, it won't compile. C11 also provides a way for you to construct an object in place in a container. So instead of uh, using pushback, we're going to use Empress back, and the function Empress back will take the same parameter that you would pass over to the constructor. So in this case, it's just the string George. So this will construct the object in place, which means in the space allocated to the vector. Therefore, there will not be any copying or moving being involved when you use the amplice back function or any other amplice functions. As a side note, this code still will not compile because a vector requires its containee to be either copyable or movable. So a better example is to change the vector into a deck. This is all good given that we don't want to use the copy constructor and the copy assignment operator. But what if I do want to use the copy constructor and copy assignment operator? What if I have a person P constructed with George and then I do persons dot push back P. So I don't want to delete the copy constructor. If we run the program now, it will crash because the print name function will eventually access an object that is deleted. So we could use the old solution of C++03, which is define a copy constructor and a copy assignment operator that handles the resource correctly. But C++11 has provided a much easier way to manage the resource, which is using the smart pointers. So instead of having a raw pointer that's pointing to a name, we're going to use shared put of string. And the shared pointer will maintain a count of how many shared pointers are pointing to this object. And when that count goes to zero, this object will be automatically deleted. So that means we don't need the destructor anymore. And now if we run the program, it runs perfectly well. 
So with the shared pointer, we don't need to define the copy constructor, we don't need to define the copy assignment operator, and we don't need to define the destructor. Yet, we can manage the resources easily and safely. There is one more problem. We are using a shared pointer to manage the resource. But the pointer is really not shared. So all the reference counting mechanism of the shared pointer is wasted for us. We need a more lightweight data structure to manage the resource, which is a unique pointer. Like the shared pointer, when the person is destroyed, the unique pointer will destroy pname. But the unique pointer is much less costly than a shared pointer. If we compile the code now, it won't compile because the pushback function will copy the person George into the vector. And in this case, we are using the compiler generated copy constructor, which does a member by member copy. However, the person has a member which cannot be copied. Unique pointer cannot be copied, it can only be moved. So that makes the person uncopyable. So instead of copying the person into the vector, we want to move the person into the vector. So for that we can use the standard move function to move the person from P to the vector. And now if we compile the code, it compiles OK. Now suppose I have defined a destructor and even if this destructor is empty, and let's compile the program, it won't compile anymore. Because after I defined a destructor, the compiler will not generate a move constructor for me. Therefore, even if I'm calling a move function here, the compiler won't be able to find a move constructor. To make it work, I need to bring the move constructor back equal to default. Now this code will compile. Finally, let's summarize the C++11 features that we have talked about today. We have talked about using the keyword delete to delete functions. We have talked about mplace back function to construct an object in place. We have talked about shared pointer, unique pointer, and the move function. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos I have. See you next time.